all-wheel drive is known to many as simply a traction enhancer in inclement weather. But Acura was one of the first automakers to realize its potential as not just a traction booster and nothing more, but as a means of drastically improving performance in nearly every respect, both on and off-road. This potential became fully realized in the early 2000s, when Acura engineered the world's first ever torque vectoring all-wheel drive system, an all-wheel drive platform capable of transferring power not only between the front and rear wheels, but also between the left and right. And so it was, Super Handling All-Wheel Drive, a technological marvel whose name actually portrays a realistic picture of what you get. Things like this. Building on the technical prowess of the first generation MDX's variable torque management all-wheel drive system, Super Handling All-Wheel Drive made its production debut in the 2005 Acura RL, followed closely by a second generation version in the 2007 MDX. For the next go-around, Acura decided to shake things up by developing two new systems simultaneously. The third generation of Super Handling All-Wheel Drive for the 2015 TLX, as well as the world's first electrically powered torque vectoring all-wheel drive system in the 2014 RLX Sport Hybrid. In lieu of a traditional drive shaft and rear differential, Sport Hybrids utilize a pair of high output electric motors to capture or distribute electric motor energy. What you're left with is near instantaneous acceleration, precise torque vectoring, and as you probably guessed, better fuel efficiency. But what happens when you add more of these to the front and relocate this to the back. This. From acceleration to braking and cornering, Sport Hybrid SH all-wheel drive in the NSX influences every stage of driving. It's what happens when you take super handling all-wheel drive and dial it up to 11. For example, here's what happens in a typical corner. As I approach the corner at speed, I clamp down hard on the NSX's electro servo brakes, both slowing me down and recovering energy. When I lift off the brakes and turn in, the twin motor unit and agile handling assist work together supporting my steering input right to the apex. With direct yaw control and Velcro-like traction of SHAWD on my side, I can transition back to the throttle before the apex, maximizing my speed at the exit. Basically, I'm able to get on the power earlier and harder. Oh, and that vice-like grip on the road makes for some awesome, slip-free launches. So that's just an example of what happens when you take the already lofty performance characteristics of super handling all-wheel drive and electrify them. Off the racetrack, mechanized versions of super handling all-wheel drive serve up a host of unique advantages. Since weight transfers to the rear wheels as you accelerate, well, unless you're going in reverse, super handling all-wheel drive uses G-sensors to seamlessly route the appropriate amount of power to the rear wheels for the situation. If I pull away gently, the system refrains from unnecessarily sending extra power to the rear wheels, preserving fuel. Get on it hard, and you can see a dramatic shift in power distribution. The result is smooth, effortless acceleration, even in slippery conditions. Much is the same story in corners, where super handling all-wheel drive smartly anticipates additional traction demands by progressively distributing up to 70% of torque to the rear wheels, as well as up to 100% of that torque to either the right or left wheel. What you get in return is next level agility, grip, and control. Best of all, unlike conventional all-wheel drive systems that can only respond reactively to wheel slippage, super handling all-wheel drive can proactively redistribute power before a loss of traction occurs in the first place. Then again, if you're ever in the mood for deliberate yet controlled loss of traction, 
SHAWD is happy to oblige with just a few setting adjustments. As you can see, super handling all-wheel drive is so much more than just all-wheel drive. Beyond its superior all-weather traction and stability, super handling all-wheel drive delivers more responsive, neutral, and predictable driving performance and does so totally seamlessly. It's the original torque vectoring all-wheel drive system and to this day remains an industry leader.